Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Ken Shulsky. I am the board chair of the Red Deer Regional Airport Authority. Uh, before we get started with today's announcement, I would like to acknowledge that we meet here today on Indigenous traditional territory represented by Treaty 7. I would also like to expend, extend a special thank you to Paul Lane and the staff at Airspray for hosting us today. Uh, we'd like to welcome several dignitaries here today. First, the Honorable Devin Dreeshen, MLA Minister of Transportation and Economic Corridors, His Worship Mayor Jim Wood of Red Deer County, and His Worship Mayor Ken Johnson of the City of Red Deer. We also would like to welcome many councillors from both Red Deer County and the City of Red Deer here today, as well as my fellow board members and many of the staff. We are excited today to announce a great leap forward in achieving our future here at YQF. The government of Alberta has generally pr provided $30 million in funding to reinvigorate and expand YQF, including completion of airport drive over the next two years. This marks an important launching point for Red Deer Regional Airport to become the aviation gateway and key economic driver for central Alberta. The Board of Directors and the administration team have been working hard for many years on the planning and implementation of an exciting future for this airspace. And this funding continues us to keep the momentum going forward on our journey. Thanks to the Government of Alberta, this expansion will be generating an estimated 200 jobs during construction and nearly 350 jobs after the development of over 220 affordable airside commercial land, 20 acres of affordable airside commercial land. As we lay the foundation for commercial access over the next two years, we also look forward to wel welcoming new neighbors as our expansion project continues to forge on. So, Thank you to the Government of Alberta, to Red Deer County, and the City of Red Deer, our board, our administration team, and our tenants for your dedication to the growth of the Red Deer Regional Airport. At this time, let's welcome the Honorable Devin Dreeshen, MLA and Minister for Transportation and Economic Corridors to say a few words. Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Ken, and uh, thank you, Paul, for, for having us here today. Uh, just a, a beautiful, beautiful hangar, and you employ so many people here in, in central Alberta with just great, great paying jobs and just world leading, world class. Um, engineers and mechanics is just fantastic and you're just such a, a success story here in central Alberta so thank you Paul so much for uh, for all the work that you do and uh, I'm also joined here by my colleague uh, we, we both drove down from Edmonton uh, MLA Jason Stefan from Red Deer South uh, just a, a great colleague and uh, a big proponent as well for for this expansion and uh, obviously last month uh, Alberta's government released budget 2023 in which it includes a strong focus of investment attraction, job creation, and economic growth. And this announcement of $30 million for the Red Deer Regional Airport uh, fulfills that in spades to, to make sure that we can have more jobs here in central Alberta and, and more economic growth. And uh, I know that this $30 million, the, the Red Deer Regional Airport Authority, they will use it to build critical infrastructure that will allow the airport to uh, attract new investment and also have new passenger services and new cargo services, new cargo opportunity as well. And uh, so the specifics of the $30 million will have road construction, water sanitation, stormwater, and fiber optic installation, and improvements to Township Road 374 to make sure that they can support new business opportunities on the north end of, of the airport. And I know uh, as, as Economic Corridor Minister, um, and, uh, and every Albertan knows that, that we're landlocked uh, as, Al as Albertans, and we, we don't have access to, to tidewater ports, but we do have access to airports. 
and it is something that we are looking strategically as a province, what we can do to make sure that we can export more and via our airports and also bring in critical services and products that we need to, to support ourselves. So it is something that, you know, this is kind of that first step of looking at some policy changes, how we can be more competitive with U.S. airports to be able to, to bring in that economic activity and uh, just to offer more services, not only on the passenger side, uh, for recreational services and just people getting around, but also on the, the cargo and the importation side of things as well. So uh, I know uh, Junction 42 and the work that the county has done to have more of a logistics hub here in central Alberta, to have cargo planes coming into central Alberta, breaking them up into trucks, and then having that final mile destination and, and being delivered from this region is uh, a great undertaking that's already happened. Uh, by the county, and I think this expansion to the Red Deer Regional Airport will will definitely uh, work towards that ultimate goal of being that logistics center of of the province of Alberta with with this expansion. So, just a great overall, uh, you know, tremendous amount of work uh, led up to getting to this uh, point. So, thank you to everybody that was involved uh, for this exciting announcement. And uh, with that, I'd like to turn things over to Red Deer Mayor Ken Johnson. Thank you. Well, good morning, uh, everyone. You know, as I'm fond of saying, uh, it's a great day to be a Red Darian, but it's not just a great day to be a Red Darian. It's a great day uh, to be a Central Albertan. It's a great day to be an Albertan, frankly. Uh, and I say that with, with, a, with a touch of a little bit of irony today because folks know I'm from Newfoundland. That's my home province. So when I see the fog around, I get quite homesick, uh, Graham. And uh, so this is quite a Newfoundland day. What an exciting day. What an exciting opportunity, and I, I really, really want to thank the province this morning uh, for their investment. Uh, Minister Dries, and I know how hard you worked. I'm not sure where you are. We're, we're, here, here we are. How hard you worked on this uh, and how grateful we are. You know, this morning, I'm very, very pleased to be joined by a couple of uh, council colleagues this morning. I know Councillor Lee is with us. I know Councillor Daw is with us. I know our city manager is also with us, uh, Tara. Uh, Lodwick and some of her administrative team uh, and and so on uh, so I appreciate that and I for, if I've forgotten anybody and I see Councillor Baruma there hard to miss Councillor Baruma uh, in a crowd for sure so what I'd like to say uh, it, it, just a few remarks uh, ladies and gentlemen this morning first of all we are proud to stand with our partners in the county and to stand with our provincial counterparts in getting this investment, I can't resist this, can't resist, off the ground. How's that sound this morning? I couldn't resist. Thank you for that. Uh, but we are, we are just proud uh, to be able to do that. And the reason I say we are so proud is this is an investment in the future of the region. It's an investment in every single community in central Alberta. You know, it was just a week ago that we gathered uh, at the Hall of Fame. We talked about some hospital issues and so on. We had 21 or so Reeves and Mayors out there uh, to speak. And so every community in central Alberta this morning, Black Falls, Rocky Mountain House, et cetera, is going to be touched by what we're doing here over the next few years. Minister, thank you for your confidence once again. Thank you for the confidence of the government of Alberta. Once again, we're excited. We're looking forward to moving this forward. And ladies and gentlemen, have a fantastic day. Thank you. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. You know, uh, blame it on my Newfoundland heritage. But I almost forgot to introduce my wonderful colleague, Mayor Jim Wood from the county. Mayor Jim, uh, this is a tremendous acquisition, and I know we're going to work wonderfully together. And so without further ado, Mayor Jim, please come forward. Well, good morning, everyone. Definitely a, a pleasure to be here. Um, and it's a pleasure to, in fact, see so many distinguished uh, uh, dignitaries in, in, in the room. And uh, um, my good friend, uh, Devin Dreeshen, I'm, I'm glad, that, I'm glad that, that you're here today for this announcement. And, and all, of, all of the other uh, all the folks that I see here, I have, uh, I'm joined by, by many of my colleagues uh, from Red Deer County. I, I see Councillor Moore. Uh, Councillor Kennett, uh, Councillor Ramsey, I'm sure I saw somewhere. Um, 
And it's great that, that you're here, also county manager and, and many of our staff, because um, this is a really important, important day for us at Red Deer County. And I first thing I would like to say is, is that these things don't just happen. I also want to acknowledge the hard work of the board of Red Deer Airport and how much work that they have done uh, to work with the government of Alberta. I would like to say thank you so much, uh, Minister Dreeshen, and to the government of Alberta for your commitment to this region and to see the importance of the Red Deer Airport. There's a tremendous opportunity in this region, and this infrastructure will see the opportunity like we've never seen before. An opportunity for so much expansion at this airport. And sometimes we think of the, the people that might fly out of here, but it's far more than that. It's the logistics. It's the manufacturing. It, it could be absolutely, the sky is the limit. And I should, that's kind of a pun, I won't say that. <laughs> uh, but, the, but the thing is, is that these opportunities are gonna create the wealth and the jobs that we'll see that this region prosper. It's, it, it's so important. And standing here today, and I'm sure glad we're not outside, but to stand in a facility like this, and you know, sometimes we don't often realize what happens from one single business. Look at how many people are actually working here today in one business. Let's think of what happens if we in fact fill up the entire air side and non-air side opportunities that are in this region. It is phenomenal. Once again, uh, I want to say thank you very much uh, to Minister Dreeshen for your commitment. Um, uh, I see that the other thing I want to say before we go is that the working together with the Red Deer City on this airport has been a partnership for a long time. And our commitment to work together is extremely important. And I'm looking forward to continue that. And that when we work together, we get things done. And uh, thank you very much to everyone. I appreciate, appreciate the opportunity. If there's any questions, I'll take them later. Morning, everyone. Garrett Couples, Red Deer Airport Authority board member. I just wanted to uh, welcome up Minister Dreeshen and give him uh, my, my colors, my cut, his, uh, <laughs> show our appreciation. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's under 200 bucks. Right? And we will uh, now move to questions from the media. So we'll start with anyone on the floor. Uh, if there's anyone, uh, please step up to the mic. Seeing nobody on the floor. Uh, operator, can you put through the first caller? There are no questions on the line at this time. Well, if there's any detailed ones. We did such a good job. Here we go. Yeah. Well, with that, thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Great. Thank you.